hope you can't hear my dryer. I think you can hear the dryer, but bear with me because this is the best lighting in the house. <laughs> um, I'm back. I have been trying so hard to think of ideas on top of just being really busy. I have been trying to think of freaking video ideas for, for, for weeks and I just cannot think of anything. I could not think of anything. So here I'm sitting here and I was on TikTok because that's consumed my life the whole of quarantine. My algorithm has just become music algorithm. So I've been doing a little cleaning around and I found my stack of CDs. So I just am kind of going to go through my CDs and it'll kind of maybe, I don't know, remind you of some, some bands that you liked that you don't listen to and you want to listen to them again or what the heck. Let's see. So number one is an old The Used. I think this is self-titled. It's The Used by The Used. Um, I got this at a garage sale. Begged my, I think it was one of my mom's boyfriends, begged him, or my mom, whoever, to let me have this. He let me have it, and I am grateful for that. Thanks, dude. No, you're not in our lives anymore. Glad for that, but thanks for the CD. <laughs> really good CD, by the way. Um, we're, we're big fans. <laughs> Struck a chord when I saw this one. Um, I am a huge fan of Disturbed. I've liked Disturbed literally since I was a toddler. Um, this is like iconic album. It's got all their iconic songs, of course. Down with the Sickness. Literally everyone in the world knows that song. My personal favorite is Stupefy. It's a staple in my house. A staple. A staple. I gotta... This is my boyfriend. It's called Loud Noises. Um, I have a friend who used to make me so many CDs, like burnt, so I didn't have to buy them. The Downtown Fiction. Absolutely love this band. Um, I have a Never Shout Never. I feel like this is one of their last albums before they stopped being a thing. I believe Christopher Drew is starting a different project at the moment, but I got this. I met him at Warp Tour 2015, I think, is when, this is when the album came out, so he was promoting it. So I got the album along with that. And I, for some reason I thought he signed it, but maybe he signed something else. Next is one of my personal favorites. This is a band that I've liked for a very long time that I probably will never not love. This is probably my favorite album from there, and that is Mayday Parade. <laughs> the feels. Nothing's gonna make you sadder than, than this band. I feel like this is a good one. My favorite, probably oh well, oh well. If you want to be sad and have lyrics stab you in the heart, probably should listen to this band. They are really good. Just, just good. I just love them. I love them. Before I got this CD, I had looked for it everywhere. I actually got it for either my birthday or Christmas from a friend. Put up or shut up. It is an old all-time low album, 2006. It's not their first one, but it is an old one. Iconic. It has iconic songs on it. It's unopened. I have not opened it. <laughs> but I freaking love this album. So good. I've tried to collect one of my favorite bands is Toto Albums, another one of my boyfriends, Sinatra, big Sinatra fan, um, another one of my boyfriends, Earth Groans, South Dakota Band, Rep the SD, really good, one of my favorite Ed Sheeran's, I love him, Galway Girl's my favorite, love it, love it, love it, um, I'm not gonna do that one. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know. <laughs> um, another one of my boyfriends, another one of my boyfriends, Boss 
Boston. I would probably have this anyway because I love Boston. So good. My only country album I'm ever going to own. I love this one. I Break Up in a Small Town is just it's a good song. If you've never listened to it, it's catchy. Um, another one of my boyfriends. My all-time favorite, all-time low album. Nothing personal. This shaped me as a human being. Here we got another one. Another really I like all their albums, honestly. Um, Dirty Work. This one's kind of iffy, but I still really like it. Those of you that know me, I'm a huge fan of the Disco fan. Um, I absolutely love them. My favorite album by them. I know this is like when they started getting kind of popular, but like not really, like not like on the radio popular. This is my absolute favorite. Um, how can you go wrong, wrong with these catchy freaking songs? And the steampunk theme. Chef's Kiss. Absolutely love this. This is my favorite album. I love every song. I don't even have a favorite. Don't even have a favorite. Um, this one, when I started getting popular. I actually really, really like this one. Not a huge fan of their most recent one, but um, here's a band that not a lot of people, I think, know. Um, they are an English band, I think, from the UK. They're called Catfish and the Bottling. I highly recommend checking them out. They're really cool. And I love that, like, like British rock vibe. It's so cool. So cool. Another classic staple. I don't know what they're doing anymore. Are they a band? I feel like they're kind of popular, but I don't know. It's a dusty one. Um, got on Mice and Men. This used to be my favorite band back in 2012, 13 or so. Um, I never really called them my favorite band, but it was implied that they're my favorite band. I just love them so much. This is a really good album. I like every song on it. Just really good. Really good. Reminds me of my my childhood. This is my absolute favorite of my Sin 1 1. It is called The The Flood. Yeah. The Flood. And this is like a deluxe, so it's got like two CDs. My favorite song on there is called The Depths. And it goes freaking hard. So good. Um, but this is a really good album. It's AFI. And they're like this really cool, like, they started out really punky, like punk, and have really just always come out with good albums. I really like them. This is not my favorite album, but I really, really, really like this album. My favorite song is The Conductor. And I really like 17 Crimes, and I like Greater Than 84. So I would advise to check those out if you have not. I really, really, really like this album. So good. Um, I don't know why I have two of these. I think because my dad is like the sweetest person ever and he used to like see it in the store and buy it for me. Um, Warp Tour compilations. Got a bunch of vans on here. This is really cool to get if like, like I know Warp Tour is dead and I'm really sad about it. But these are really cool to get if you want to check out a bunch of different bands that you've never heard of. Or if you want to get into this like genre of like rock and like or metal, pop punk and stuff like that. Because it has one song from every band that's on the tour. So it's really cool. And I'm really sad that Warped Tour is dead and... <laughs> one of these times I'm gonna... I've met a lot of people at work Tour, a lot of bands that I really like and I really want to record videos on that so I might do that. Here's a fun one, as it is. My favorite song on here is Concrete. They have a lot of good albums. I would check them all out. Honestly, it's worth it. Drink break. I'm a slob. I'm sorry, I'm gross. Coda knocked over my camera. This one brings back some good memories. Um, if Vices and Virtues wasn't my favorite Panic album, this one would be. I love this. I think it's got such a cool vibe. They really took like a Beatles spin to it. 
Everyone knows I am a huge Beatles fan. The Beatles tattoo right here, Here Comes the Sun. Thank you to my father who made me discover them when I was a young child and I've loved them ever since. All right, I'm about to show you guys what's up. Listen, when I say this, it doesn't mean I listen to them all the time, okay? It does not mean I listen to them all the time or at all, but I'm not gonna say I wasn't a huge fan when I was a kid. Yes, I'm a directioner. Okay, okay. Um, come on, I love One Direction. Okay, this is my favorite album from them. I just really love them a lot. Um, my favorite song is Stockholm Syndrome. Stop hating on One Direction. They're really, they make people happy. And if you don't like people being happy, then fall in a hole, you know? Send me some summer albums. This one's one of my personal favorites until Youngblood came out. This one's a little older, still really, really good. I think it's self titled. Yep, self titled. And this one sounds good, feels good, really good. This is the one that actually made me really, really like them. I love all the songs on here. They're just good, they're catchy. I like catchy songs. Here we go again, another duplicate. Another band that I loved seeing in concert was Hot Shell Ray. I saw them at a county fair opening for, wait for it, Big Time Rush. <laughs> yeah, Big Time Rush. I think they're doing amazing. I'm so proud of them. Love you. Haven't seen them in concert yet. What the f All Time Low Albums. This is a really good one. Um, I have this free CD that I've never listened to from a band that hand was handing them out at Warped Tour. There is three songs on there, and there's this hot lady on the back, so. Should give them a chance. Um, Paris, spelled P-V-R-I-S. Really good female-fronted band. She's amazing. My favorite song on here is My House. She just has this, like, <laughs> Fearless Records compilation because I decided I wanted this Fearless Records tank top and I bought it online and it came with this little compilation. It comes with 15 songs from bands that are on their label. Um, some of them include Mayday Prey, Motionless and Wide, Get Scared, The Word Alive, Real Friends, Chris the Veil. My favorite record labels, actually. I really freaking love them and I love that tank top. I still wear it. And I have an all-time low unplugged, MTV Unplugged, which is their acoustic set. And I think it comes with a DVD with the set video as well. And it's got this cute little, look at them playing. <laughs> but yeah, I love all-time low. <laughs> I'm a huge, huge fan of music. So if anyone has any recommendations of bands that I've not listened to or heard of, um, you're more than welcome to let me know and I will check them out. I'm always on Spotify. I am making Spotify playlists all the time. Um, I will probably link all my stuff below. I made a K-pop playlist called Opening the K-pop Can of Worms, and I also have one called Kai's Tunes, and that is just literally songs that I've been listening to forever. I love supporting bands. I love supporting artists. I think it's awesome. I think it's great. So. Um, I would love to listen to more bands that aren't well known. If that gets into anyone's realm and they want to be like, hey, check out my band, do it, and I freaking will. And I know I don't have a huge platform, but I love voicing my opinion on things, so. But for now, uh, that was my CD haul. I don't know if that was fun at all. I had fun because I loved reliving memories and music, and I'm pretty much just gonna go listen to all this music when I'm done when I'm editing this video. <laughs> but I really appreciate you watching if you did, and I appreciate any likes, upvotes, anything like that. I will leave all my links below, and I hope you have a fantastic day, and I will see you next time. I'm really trying to do this more, and it's really hard, but I'm gonna try. Bye!